I, I don't understand. This is just a mirror. What else are we... Oh... Magic mirrors have been rising in popularity since it began showing up on do-it-yourself boards and websites. It is an interesting and neat idea. Turn a mirror that you look at your beautiful face at all day, but having information to glance at as well? And with the plethora of projects people are creating every day, there's no doubt that everyone will want one in their home. So today we'll be making one of our own in the most basic way possible since this is my uh, first time building one of them. To start, we need an Android tablet. Either you can find one lying around the house or just buy a cheap one. In this case, I just went to eBay and picked out a fairly decent one that's running the latest Android operating system. This one in particular is a RCA brand that I got for 30 bucks and it works decent enough. Next is the two-way mirror material that I bought online. Since there are no stores that sell any nearby, I went to tapplastics.com and ordered my piece there. Just keep in mind, the bigger the mirror, the more pricier it'll get. So if you plan to get a smaller mirror, just remember your tablet dimensions as well. You don't want it too small and having it jut out. And finally, the rest of the material you'll need for the backing of your mirror. For mine, I just had some regular tape, adhesive strips, scissors, black paper, and some old boxes lying around. First, we need to download the software we'll need for our tablet. The easiest method without getting too much into coding is downloading the whole Mirror app by Hannah... I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your last name. I recommend checking out her GitHub if you want any more information on Magic Mirror development in general. But anyway, once you download the app, make sure your tablet settings are adjusted so that the screen doesn't turn off or auto-lock in any way, so it just remains on. Turn on the app and make some adjustments, but once that's done, the main screen should appear. Next is the mirror itself. When aligning the mirror with the tablet, make sure that there's enough room for a charging cord to get through, depending on how you align it. You'll have to keep this in mind where you're going to place the backing on our mirror, too. I use black cardboard paper to cover most of it, as you can see. Make sure you cut it in a way so that there's room for your tablet. I use adhesive tape to stick it on, but the double-sided tape works just as fine. After that, I use pieces from old packages and boxes as the backing. I cut them up and tape them accordingly to make sure that the back can hold on to the mirror enough, as well as the tablet. Make sure you leave a lot of room for the charging cable as well. Once you think your backing can hold all those components in, you could finally hang it up. And there you go. We have an inexpensive mirror that we spent 50 or so odd dollars on, and it looks futuristic as hell. 